Welcome back to Well, sir. Let's shoot it. We out here today. We throw an old popping bug. We're gonna see if we can hook us a fish. Oh boy, we got us one. Look at there, that thing. Well, that's a nice little brim right there. Mm. Well, sir, he put himself back. Let's see if we can help him. I can get my fishing pole out the tree. Oh. Come here, little fella. Don't stop me. Quit flopping water all over me. He just stuck in the mud, boy. You just been hard to get along with, ain't you? Now, there he is. Ain't too bad. All right, fella. Go on back to bed. Let me clean my hand on now. I got my good shoes dirty. We're back out here today. We got Rudolph sitting here with us out here. We're looking at the 350 Legend made by Great Lakes out of Sparta, Michigan. Old 350 legend round, pretty new round. Been out for a couple years. This here's in the black and white. Got some standard steel type sights on it, flip up. It's got a ProTech light and laser on it. And a bipod. It's a good looking gun. We're gonna do a little shooting with it today. And see how it does. Well, you know, we shot the bridge buffers here the other week. Shot them with some pistols and such. I got some high-powered rifles out here today. Well, you know, some pretty decent rifles. Got a 308, 30 alt 6 and a 280. And got the 350 Legend back out here. We're going to take that thing and shoot these buffers again. And see what it does to it. You know, last time I don't think we went through but about six of them. I think it was the uh, 762 by 39 and that SKS I had bored. We're going to try these other guns today and see what happens. I believe we'll start out with my 308 SIG cross today and we'll see what we can do with that. Got my 308 SIG cross here. We're going to take it and shoot through these things. Close. Let's do it one more time. Well, we took that 308 and shot that thing. I hit it a little low the first time, so I shot it again. Come up a couple inches on that thing. It went through one, through the second one. Boy, that hole looks like it gets bigger and bigger. Through the third one out the back, through the fourth one. And it hit the fifth one. And bounced off right there. Right there where it hit that fifth one. And bounced off. To my 280 Woods Master. Got a Trophy XLT bush nail scope on that thing. It's a nice gun. Made in 1982. Remington. Same year I was born. Kind of reminds you of the 30 alt 6 little bit. The size of the cartridge. They're almost identical. There's a lot of similarities. Let's shoot it one time and see how many it'll go through. See that old 280 Woods Monster? Hit over here on this left side, little bitty old hole going in. Come out, boy, it's a lot bigger on that, that side. That went through one, two, three, 
Boy, that hole's getting big. Look at that thing. Four. And it stopped on the inside of the fourth one. You can see the inside of the wall there. So, went through three. Stopped inside the fourth one. Man. That 308 went further than that 280. I thought that 280 would go on into that thing. I thought for sure. Got my Weatherby 30 out 6 out here. 150 grain round. Hunting round. Got a nice red field scope on that thing. Let's shoot it and see what it does. Thing hit pretty hard. Jordan pretty good there. That 30-06, I hit it right above where I hit it with that 308. All of them look like a little bit old 22 holes going in. That thing come out, went into the second one. Boy, it made a pretty good hole. Come out, went into the third one. Come out, hit just above where I hit with that 308. Went into the fourth one. Come out. Look like it might be right there. There's a piece of the jacket right there. Off of that 30 out six. So far we've only went through four and hit the fifth one and we ain't got but one gun left. Got 350 legend out here by Great Lakes, out of Michigan, Florida, Michigan. We're gonna take it and shoot it. I tried to side it in a little bit there a while ago. Ain't done a lot with it. See if we can hit it. See what it does. I moved some of them around. Got them down from there. That way we have some fresh targets here. Hit with that 350 legend. A little bit bigger hole going in. It's not much bigger than uh, about the size of a 22 right on. Went in through the first one, into the second one. There's a piece of jacket off one of them right there. I don't know if that's that legend or what it is. Went to that second one, went out, made a pretty good size hole in that third one. And that's as far as it went into that third one there. Well, the 350 legend went into three, and that's as far as it went. I thought it'd go further, but old 30 alt six and 308, seemed like they went into the, about four of them. And the 280 stopped on the fourth one. Well, let's do a little bit more shooting. Pretty tough. Shot through several. Look at there. There's one flattened out right there, old 350 legend. All right, we got one. <laughs> I knew we start shooting them like that, man. We'd get one before it was over with. That's all right. Might have one or two more of here somewhere. Old 350 legend, right nice gun there by Great Lake. Look, look. There's a nothing right there, just laying there. Got a little bit of gas in it. It'll knock one down. Good deer hunting around, what they say. I haven't used the hunting yet. Season ain't in yet, but I tell you what, there's one stuck right there. It's a pretty powerful round. Got some knockdown. There's some jacket off of one. Actually, it's supposed to be full metal jacket. That might be something else there off one of them other ones. I didn't see earlier. Well, we appreciate you checking us out here. Well, sir, let's shoot it. Come back again, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when we make a new video. Well, hopefully we'll have some better stuff come up. I didn't have no camera folks today, so I couldn't do nothing real fancy or nothing. But uh, Lord will, we'll get some cameras and we'll get it figured out. Y'all have a blessed one. Lord will, we'll aggravate you later.